my little party animals. Hip Hip Renee here today with a brand new speed build for you. And today we are finally building the new house for the Birthstone Legacy family, the McKinleys. I know I've been talking about it for a while and I know I've been slacking on those episodes. We are going to be moving them into this house on Friday. So you will see that on Friday. And depending on how that episode goes, Friday might be the season finale, if you will, of the first generation, because at this point, we literally have barely anything to do for Quinn to finally have passed her generation. And then past that, it's really just kind of raising the kids, making sure that Kieran, you know, gets good grades, all that kind of stuff, because we cannot age him up unless he has an A in school or it is his birthday. So my main goal between seasons is to kind of just get that boring kid raising stuff out of the way. There are plenty of seasons coming up where you will be able to see me actually try and raise a family. That is the goal of a few of the seasons, but for this season, raising kids was not like anything that there was something specific that you had to do. So I think just kind of blowing by it for now so that we can revisit the family element later when it is important to the challenge. I think that's gonna be the better way to do it. But this is going to be the house where the McKinleys live until Bo ages up, or Bo. I keep doing that. I did that for my whole LP when I posted it last week. I kept calling Kieran Bo, and I don't know why I'm doing it. I need to stop. But once he is aged up, I think I'm going to make the executive decision that he is kind of like inheriting this house. So this will be the house that Kieran starts off in. And it is in Newcrest, and I did that on purpose because I do know that I want my second season to be mainly focused inside of Newcrest. I want to put down all sorts of new buildings. I want to make sure that there's a town hall. So that way, when Kieran enters into the political career, you know, he has like a quote unquote office to go to. I think it'll be really fun. And I am... I'm having a good time filling up new crust. It's not quite done yet, but I am gonna take a little break from the LP just between seasons, just to kind of regain my sanity and you know give myself a little bit of extra time. That way I can just kind of get rid of the Friday videos just for a little while, and then once we bring the LP back, probably about two weeks after with the finale, I should be good to go. Hopefully I can pre-record some things so I'm not quite as late as I usually am. But anyway, this is the new house. I am so loving it. I was originally going in with the intention of still keeping the house, you know, quote unquote, garnet, because that is the generation that we are on. And then I was like, maybe I should make it more amethyst because that's the generation that we're going into. And then I was like, you know what? There is nowhere in the rules that it says that the house has to match the generation. So. I stepped outside the box a little bit as far as that is concerned and I ended up just kind of building a house that I thought was going to be really playable and really nice, something that I actually wanted to play in. And you know, I wasn't very discriminatory when it came to packs or furniture or even price because we have a ton of money and right now we have a ton of money in the house that we're living in. So once we sell that house. We are gonna be able to move in here with no problems and we are not gonna have any problems with you know, paying bills or having to worry about any of that. I think we're gonna be good. We have plenty of money and we can always head back into the jungle and go digging for some treasures if we do need a little bit of extra money. So now over here in the backyard, I did skip landscaping just because it was boring. It was me putting bushes around the entire house. There's not a lot of landscaping here. But in the backyard, I figured I would use my above ground pool. I did a tutorial on that a while back and it was really fun. I actually really enjoyed doing that tutorial. This is just something cute and clever that, you know, you kind of don't think of until you actually do it or until you actually see somebody else do it. So I saw somebody do this on Reddit where they created an above ground pool. I thought it was super cool. I reached out to her and I was like, hey, do you mind if I borrow your idea and I create a tutorial for it? Because I think it's really cool. And of course she did give me permission. She did let me know who it was that originally inspired her to do it. So that was really fun. And I thought that it fit in perfectly in the backyard here. 
where we have little kids and maybe we don't want them to have access to an underground pool or an in-ground pool. So this is something that's just, you know, a little bit more realistic. I had an above ground pool when I was younger. My parents still have it actually. And they try and make me come over and use it all the time. But they, they put it in when I was a little bit too old to want to be hanging out at the pool all the time, especially the above ground pool at my parents' house. I was like in my teens, so it wasn't super cool anymore. My brother, on the other hand, was definitely young enough to enjoy it a lot more than I did. But I thought that was a cute idea and I wanted to bring that into one of my builds because before I had done that tutorial, I had never built anything that had an above ground pool. So I did feel like I should use it. And then this is also one of my first builds that uses the new staircase feature. So you are now able to curve staircases, you can have little landings, you can have L-shaped stairs. There's tons of different options for this. I think it's super cool. I'm really excited that we finally got this. This is something that simmers have been like ripping their hair about. There have been tons of people doing tutorials on how to fake L-shaped stairs and I am just, I'm so glad that they're finally a reality and we don't have to, you know, do all sorts of crazy finagly things to be able to get just basic L-shaped stairs. Now all we need is spiral stairs, but I'm not holding my breath on that one. I'm not super into spiral stairs to begin with. I feel like they're extremely dangerous and I don't understand how you get your furniture up to the second floor, especially if like that's the only way to get up there. I don't know. I'm not a super huge fan of spiral stairs, but it would be cool to have just as a little bit of backup. It could be cool for like going into attics or what have you. I don't know. If you really want L-shaped stairs, let me know down in the comments below. I want to know how many people actually want these and are actually going to use them because I feel like I would get them and I would use them once and I'd be like, never again. <laughs> I'm all set with the spiral stairs. I don't know. But we are kind of flipping back and forth between the interior and the exterior. I was getting a little burnt out at times doing this build because I was being very particular about how I wanted it to look and where I wanted everything because of course I am actually playing in it and it's a house that I'm probably going to be staring at for a pretty significant amount of time so I do I did really want to make sure that I really enjoyed this house so it was a little bit time consuming I think in total it took me about three to four hours to build this house which for a house of this size and a house of this style is an exceptionally long time for me suburban is something that I feel like I can usually just kind of bust out and it's not a huge deal, but there were certain items that I knew I had to include. I knew who the Sims were that were moving into this house, so I kind of have hopefully a decent idea of like what their style is and you know what just kind of how they act or what they would like as far as a house. So I did try and keep it to their personalities. So, you know, it's a little it's very much beige in a lot of places, but you know, I did try and to bring in some plants and a lot of paintings and things like that because I knew that you know with Queen going to the jungle all the time she probably buys all sorts of crazy stuff while she's there and she brings it home she's always bringing souvenirs home that kind of thing so I did start off with the bathrooms and I ended up using this new wall swatch this came with one of the most recent updates with all of those little archways and doorways and there's some windows in there and I again I think I mentioned this the last time I used it I did not realize that we got this wall swatch until I saw somebody use it in the renovation battle I recently did with Havana Sims if you have not seen the renovation battle video I want to let you know that I won the renovation battle this time around this is my first time actually winning a renovation battle and I was super excited so I will make sure to link that video somewhere probably up in the top right corner so you'll be able to see it hopefully I actually remember to do that but I used it in or I didn't know that we had it until that collab and I saw somebody else use it and I was like whoa wait <laughs> hold up where'd you get that because it's not CC because we're not allowed to use CC so 
for real though, where did you get that? And I just, I don't know, I guess I had never seen it. And I think it's because the wall swatch that is like the default swatch is not that great. <laughs> it's like green and black or like dark gray. It's very weird. And you would not think that there would be like this nice white and black tiled wall. I don't know. So I didn't notice it, but now I notice it and now I'm going to use it way too much because you guys know me at this point. If there is something that I like, I am going to use it to death. It's just that's the way my life works. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I did end up using the Island Living cabinets instead of actual cabinets. I couldn't really figure out a color that I really wanted to go to for this kitchen. This green does not match any of the generations that we are currently working on. It does not match the first, it does not match the second, but I like the color. So I decided to go with something that I liked and something I would enjoy playing in. This is probably the brightest room in the house with the exception of the kids' rooms upstairs. And I don't know, it was the first room that I started with and it just kind of stayed this way. Not super, I don't know, I'm not, I don't know if I'm sold on the colors yet, but maybe, maybe it will grow on me or maybe I will change the colors around when I start playing and I realize I don't like it. But for now, I think it looks super cute. I did have a hard time trying to cover up these windows. I was getting really frustrated because everything was either like too long and clipping into the counters like it is now, or it wasn't centering over the windows properly because it's a three length window and not a single length window. It was very frustrating. I ended up keeping these curtains that are, they are clipping into the, the countertop, but they're kind of like hidden behind a few things. So I don't know. I think it's something that I can manage and something that won't super bother me while I'm playing, especially because I usually play with the walls at least halfway down. So I don't think I'm going to notice it all that often. It's just one of those things like lesser of two evils, either no curtains or the curtains are clipping. You got to pick one. <laughs> so then moving over here into the dining room, I did want to make sure that I had a separate dining space. Going into this build, I knew I wanted to have kind of a distinct separation of the rooms because you guys know I enjoy closed concept houses just in my real life, so why wouldn't my Sims enjoy a closed concept house? So we have the kitchen kind of tucked away in the back behind the dining room. I knew I wanted a kitchen. I knew I wanted a separate dining room. I knew I wanted a big living room. I knew I wanted an office downstairs and a bathroom downstairs. So I was really making this house, I'm sure you guys noticed, at the beginning of the video. Normally when I build a house, I build the entire exterior and then I do a floor plan around whatever that exterior looks like. And usually it comes out great. Sometimes there's a few moments where I'm like, ooh, this is not working. <laughs> this is not working well at all. But with this one, I knew what rooms I wanted to have and I knew what kind of how big I wanted them all to be. So I did build the rooms first and then kind of styled the house kind of around the rooms, if that makes sense. So this was a totally kind of new way for me to build. I have done stuff kind of like this before, but this is definitely not something that, that's not how I normally build. I normally do entire exterior and then I move into the interior. I did it a little backwards this time because I knew what I wanted and I knew it had to be there. So then this room back here is just kind of our Quinn's little office, her little archaeology area, if you will. So she has her archaeology table. She has a computer down here. And there's also the woodworking bench. So that way, Juan can kind of get on that, get his handiness skill up, because he is, you know, he's kind of the main parent. <laughs> That's terrible to say, because he's a bad parent. Like, he's not good. Not that Quinn's any better, but Juan's a pretty bad parent. If you haven't been watching my LP, it's like bad parents galore. It's awful. But then we are coming over here into the living room and I really wanted to make sure that the focus was around the staircase because I, I love this staircase. I think it looks super cool. I'm so excited that we finally have these. I can't say it enough. I'm super pumped about it. I just, I like it. Doesn't fit into all my builds. I want it to fit into all my builds, but I'm definitely going to be utilizing this new staircase feature a little bit more. And then I kind of started off in the living room with those parenthood couches and I was like, eh, don't really like those. So I went to my tried and true, my classic, just, I think these are actually just base game, but I love these couches. They come in so many different colors, so many different swatches. You can really fit these into 
any type of build. They fit modern, they fit suburban, they just, they work. These, these pouches work for me. And I like that there is a couch option, a love seat option. There's actually also chair options. So you can kind of combine the entire set into your living room. I did skip out on the chairs because I put the two kids' chairs. I really wanted to have a little bit more focus on the kids because especially Isla, we've kind of just been ignoring her. <laughs> Poor girl. So I wanted to make sure that the kids definitely had some spaces in the house that they felt comfortable, that they could sit and play, that... You know, these are their chairs. Like, one of the chairs belongs to Isla. The other belongs to Kieran. They fight over them constantly. And then, of course, we put the little science area in the back as well as the scouts board. Now, I don't think I've had Kieran join the scouts yet, but that's definitely something I want to do. I feel like they can earn things. I know that they can earn badges and stuff, but do they earn, like, traits or anything? I... I don't think I've played through the entire scouting thing, so I'm not really sure, but I think putting him in scouts is probably a good idea. Regardless, so we're gonna do that. Isla is a member of the drama club, so she doesn't have to worry about any of that stuff because you can't join two clubs, apparently. Which, I don't know, maybe that is kind of towards real life because, you know, we have girls that join dance and, you know, they want to be on the competition team and then they're like, oh, can't make that competition because I have cheer practice that day. Well. What do you think is more important, your cheer practice or your dance competition? You gotta, you gotta pick one, you gotta stick with it. <laughs> That's how this works. You cannot let your team down. So obviously we're moving upstairs now that I've gone off on a crazy tangent. We're going upstairs, we are just kind of decorating this hallway. I tried to put, you know, some jungly inspired pictures, but I didn't want to go too crazy in the hallway because again, this is a house that I have to play in. I didn't want to clutter it to oblivion to the point where nobody could use anything in the house. I did want to try and place things in the house so that it was as actually playable as possible. We are starting work on the master bedroom, which I actually love this bedroom. I think it turned out really cute. It's very plain, it's very neutral, it's very simple but it also just works. I don't know, I really enjoy it. I used the Moschino bookcase along with some Island Living things in here. I don't know. Island Living and Jungle Adventures, they feel like they go hand in hand for me. I know they are two entirely different locations, but the furnitures just work so well together. So I did a mostly Island Living bedroom. Of course, we did use the Realm of Magic mirror in there as well, which surprisingly, matches the island living furniture ha huh. big surprise there because usually furniture doesn't match in the sims but today it does <laughs> this room over here is isla's room so i did it all in purple the next generation is amethyst so the color is purple and my original intention was i was going to make both of the rooms purple but I don't know, there's not like a dark enough purple that I wanted to put in Kieran's room. Everything was like really pastel-y and just very generic, girly looking, and I did not want to do that to Kieran. So I did actually make his bedroom blue. It's okay, it's fine, he can have a blue bedroom. It's a very light blue and it's almost kind of like a purpley blue, so I think it, I think it works okay. <laughs> I actually really like Isla's room though. I had a lot of fun with these pinks and purples. These are not colors that I typically work with, usually my kids' bedrooms. I don't know why I don't really go with purple, but I wanted to use that island living bed, so I kind of just framed everything around that bed. And then I tried to use the Realm of Magic bed in Kieran's room, and it was just, it was not speaking to me. This wasn't talking to me that day, so again, I went with island living. Guys, Island Living, I'm still into it. I am still so into it. I love it. It is one of my favorite packs for building. The furniture is phenomenal. I just, I really like it. And I love this like light colored swatch for the wood. It's just, uh, it just works in so many different ways. I love it. And then I decided that Kieran needed his own little pet. So I got Kieran a little pet rat and his pet rat is going to be living in his room, and I'm super excited for him to have a pet rat. Now they have a dog and they have a rat, but Kieran needs to take care of his own pet, so he needs to take care of his rat, and I'm not gonna let any of the other family members be taking care of the rat for him. 
We are finally heading into the screenshots here though. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this build. I am so excited to be able to play in it. I promise you I will be back on Friday with a brand new episode of the Birthstone Legacy Challenge. Then we are probably gonna take a quick little two week break and then we will move into the Kieran generation. So we are going to be moving on to generation two. I am so pumped, can't wait to move on. Little sad we're leaving the jungle, but I'm excited to move on too. So if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely give it a thumbs up down below. If you're new here or you're not new here and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you get notifications every single time I post a new video. And I will be back with you guys on Friday and we'll be taking Quinn into her new home. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Bye.